A while back, I did a video showing how to upgrade your VPS to prepare for running the new Gala Games nodes. Unfortunately, for some people, when they tried to upgrade, it failed. The worst part is you may not even know that it failed. Running Gala Games nodes rewards you with Gala cryptocurrency daily, and also a chance to receive NFTs from across the Gala Games network. In the future, you'll be able to earn additional cryptocurrency from the games that are on the Gala Games network. In the video Upgrade Your VPS, I showed how to upgrade a VPS on PI VPS from the number one Windows VPS to the number three Windows VPS. The reason for doing this is to prepare for the new version two Gala Games nodes that are currently in pre-release, which will require a more robust VPS configuration than the number one Windows VPS at PIVPS. Unfortunately, the upgrade process at PIVPS is not very straightforward, which can lead to some issues. First things first, did you upgrade your VPS? Are you sure it worked? How do you know? After clicking the upgrade button on PIVPS, it may look like your upgrade is complete. When you look at the My Services section, it says right there that your VPS instance is a number three Windows VPS. However, that may not be the configuration that your VPS is actually running. But how do you tell? The easiest way is to log into your VPS instance using Microsoft Remote Desktop or whatever other tool you use and look around to see what's going on with your VPS. The biggest clue that there may be a problem is hard drive space. To check this, click on the Windows menu in the lower left, then this PC. If your VPS has been properly upgraded, it should have around 55.6 gigabytes of space listed on your local disk C. If that's what it's showing, then your VPS upgrade is complete. But what if it shows something like 17.6 gigabytes or something similar? The number three Windows VPS comes with 60 gigabytes. So it looks like we have a problem. Our VPS upgrade is not complete. All right, so how do we fix it? The first thing we want to do is make sure that our node's progress meter is at 100%. We don't want to risk having our daily gala distribution disrupted. Then we go to the PI VPS website, click on My Services in the left nav, and we see that our VPS instance does say number three Windows VPS. So what gives? While the website is showing it as a number three, the VPS itself is not running on that configuration. In order for it to properly upgrade, we need to restart it. To do this restart, first we click on this Manage button. Then we need to wait for the control panel to load. But wait, your control panel didn't show up? Does it instead say something cryptic like, VPS is being processed underground? If this is the case, then PIVPS is still processing your VPS upgrade, and you will need to check back later in order to do the next steps. In the latest VPS upgrade that I performed while filming this video, it took almost a full day of being stuck in underground mode before the VPS control panel was available. Okay, so now we check back and voila, the control panel loads this time. So now what? First thing we need to do is to click on this power button on the right to completely power down our VPS. When this is complete, our browser should give us a notification and the status box should read offline. Just to be safe, let's give it a minute before starting it back up. One minute later. Okay, so now we click on this start button here and wait for it to start up. And there it is. As you can see, it's back online. Let's log back into our VPS with the remote desktop and check things out. The first thing we notice is that Windows is complaining about not being shut down properly. Windows is whiny like that. Remember earlier that our first clue that something was wrong was that the hard drive space was only showing 17.6 gigabytes. So let's check that again. All right, 55.6. So it looks like it worked. Huzzah. But where did our node go? I could have sworn I left the node icon right there on the desktop. Oh well, we can just re-download it. I'm gonna grab the new pre-release version 2.0.4 from the Gala Games Discord server. Okay, with the node all set up, let's check things out. 
go to the Network Power tab, and that looks much better. 55.6 GB storage, 2.6 GHz processor, and 4 GB of RAM. What? Yours says zero? Some of the older nodes had an issue where it would display zeros here, but the latest version of the nodes shows the info correctly. And it looks like we're all good. Our VPS upgrade is complete. Huh, <sighs> what a pain. I don't know about you, but I don't want to go through that again. Well, you don't have to. Let's say that you're currently running a number one Windows VPS on PI VPS and paying month to month. Rather than upgrading it, just start up a new VPS instance. That way you can bypass all this upgrade trouble and you have the added benefit of being able to change your server's location if you want. Then once you have your new VPS all set up with your node running, you can just cancel the old one. Did your upgrade go smoothly? Were you surprised to find out that it actually failed when it looked like it was complete? Let me know in the comments below. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.